Hi everybody, good morning. This is Tom from Bromatronic Solutions and in this video I'm going to discuss the top ways to limit Windows 10 data consumption, how to reduce Windows 10 data consumption. Any wanderers use the Windows 10 operating system would agree with me that Windows 10 is actually a very much data hungry operating system. It's taking data consumption to a level that no one has ever anticipated or experienced before so in this um, very video I'm gonna take you through the top steps that you can take when you want to limit your Windows 10 data consumption are you ready number one the very first thing that you're gonna learn how to do is to set your connection to a metered connection now you do that when you are connected to a wireless um, network you connect it to a wireless network that's coming from your phone service provider what you need to do is set that connection to a metered connection and let's do that now i go to the start menu i go to my settings and then i go to network and internet now when you come to a network and internet you're going to go to wi-fi and when you come to Wi-Fi, you click on Manage Known Networks. Manage Known Networks. Now you're gonna see all of the um, Wi-Fi networks that I've connected to um, previously. So in this particular instance, I am connected to DIT Bama. So I just click on this and go to Properties. Now you see this option that says uh, metered connection. If you have a limited data plan and want more control over data usage, make this connection a metered network. Some apps might work differently to reduce data usage when you're connected to this network. So all I need to do is set it. It's a radio button. You can just toggle the button to off and on. Okay, but you need it to be on. So what I've done now is to set this connection as a metered connection and that's the number one thing that you can do but like i said um this connection is already a metered connection that's where i said it but it's not helped my data consumption at all because if you go to remember you can also go to your settings by doing windows key plus i that's what i've used to open my settings right now if you go to network and internet and you check out data usage you find that on my Wi-Fi, I have used about 31.48 gigabytes of data within the last 30 days. And when you go to the usage, det um, the usage details, um, trying to gather up all the info, give it a minute. Um, now you see Firefox has used about 3.70 gigabytes. U-Torrent has used um, 2.51 gigabytes, but um, you see the rest are just a megabyte and the others kilobytes. But when you come down here, you find out that the system, that the Windows 10 system is using 22.4 gigabytes. Can you beat that? 22.4 gigabytes within the last 30 days and that's crazy. So it means it's a system that's eating up my data, All right? So that's why it's very important we do that so I've set it to a meter connection but that might not solve all your problems so go to the second thing we're gonna do the very second thing we're gonna do is to um, set our, our updates to the far feature um, updates that's because I'm using our Windows 10 Enterprise so I'll go to my settings all right, and under update and security, okay, I uh, go to um, under update settings. I go to advanced options. Um, now in this place, choose how updates are delivered. Now update from more than one place. I have to turn that off, okay because what this does is that let's 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 read this is when this is turned on your pc it may also send parts of previously downloaded windows updates and apps to pcs on your local network or pcs on the internet depending on what's selected below so if you if you turn this on right 
it means and you know choose these pieces on my local network and pieces on the internet your windows 10 system is gonna work just like a, a peer-to-peer um, um, file sharing system it will be sh using your internet connectivity to share parts of the downloads you have to other systems on the network and on the internet and as you know that is going to burn up your data so what you should do is turn this off just like i have done <sighs> now you also have to do for future updates that um very uh, that's like very very simple all right so that's number two now we look at number three now number three thing that you can do to um, save your your data on Windows 10 to reduce your data consumption on Windows 10 is go to your store all right to the app store click on this sign which is um, supposed to be like sign for your account or your picture all right and go to settings and what we're gonna do is app updates we turn off the app updates all right and we are also going to turn off show products uh, on tie all right the live tie now um, I can leave this on but the most important thing right here is to turn off the app updates, the apps, um, the, the automatic updates for your apps in the store, because these uploads, I mean, updates the apps you have in the store automatically. All right. Now, if you come to your tile, all right, you see this man shot dead in Michelle's plane. Okay. Now you see. Um, as a police service, you find that these ties, this is Mugabe, this was trending right now. China will not cut ties with Zimbabwe. Okay, so Zimbabwe, Mugabe is trending right now. Now, have you ever asked yourself how come these live tiles keep on changing by themselves out of a Mikel B on Britain? Right, these are all live tiles and they are updating themselves. So it tells you that. This is making use of internet data, right? So you need to turn off that. Now what we're gonna do is to cut off data to all background applications, all right? And watch me do that. So I'm going to my settings again. So I go to my stats. Go to stats, go to settings. All right. And then I will go to update and security. All right. Um, it is very it's very simple for me to also go to privacy. All right, and say background apps. All right. So all these applications now let apps run in the background. Choose which apps can receive info, send notifications, and stay up to date, even when not using them. Turning background apps off can help conserve power. Right. So what I'm gonna do is all those apps that I do not want or really need to be updating themselves in the background, I'm gonna turn them off. Okay. So I'll turn off Builder. Alarm can leave that. Um, later I'm gonna turn that off calendar can leave it on camera leave it contact support turn it off feedback hop off get office off group music off maps um, maybe off messaging off Microsoft Edge off um, Microsoft Solita off money like you saw there in the lifetime when I showed before off movies and TV off okay news off one note off paid Wi-Fi and cellular off people off phone companion off Skype should be on spots off sticky notes off as a matter of fact I even want to turn my stuff off all right tips uh, maybe leave that on voice recorder um 
exactly that on whether off Xbox off. Okay, so I've turned all these off right now. So what that means is that these applications that I have turned off would not be able to receive um, or send data or update themselves. So in that way, I have been able to have been able to um, cut off data to them. All right. Number four. So now let's look at the number four thing that you can do. The number four thing you can do is to manually turn off Windows Update. Right? There are two things I'm going to show you. A, um, you can click, you can right click on your start button and click on command prompt. Run it as admin. Right? Run command prompt as admin and then you type in what I'm going to put in right now. Just look at your screen. Next. Stop Windows Update Service. So I'm gonna stop. Do I already stop this um, previously? So you say the Windows Update Service will stop successfully. So you can do it. But if you do this, it means you need to. You can be doing this um, every time that you log on to your system. That it's gonna be. It's not a one-off thing. It's something that you're gonna need to do like all the time, right? Now, B in stopping your Windows update is you come to um, your start again, all right? Or you can use the Windows key plus arrow, okay? So, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use um, Windows key plus arrow. And um, run comes up or type services dot msc. I'll enter it like that. Okay, and then and then when I come here, I'm gonna search for Windows updates. Windows update. Um, when I come to Windows update, I'm gonna double click on Windows update and under the startup type, I'll click and say disabled. Alright, so I'll have to apply that. Alright, and I'll say okay. So Windows update is now disabled right here. Alright, so um, that's number five. Now the next thing, number six. The next thing we're gonna do that's the number six thing we're gonna do to limit the amount of data that's consumed on our Windows 10 system is to actually stop the OneDrive service. The OneDrive service is one service that gobs data. So how do we do that? Now I'm gonna open up Run by um, using Windows Key Plus Arrow. And then I just type TSAK and the arrow as tax manager, right? And when that comes up, I'm gonna search for I'm gonna search for um, OneDrive. I'm gonna search for OneDrive. I'm not sorry. I go to startup first, and on the startup, I go to OneDrive. Um, yeah, it's a Microsoft OneDrive already. I have disabled it here. Okay, so what um, you're supposed to do is to right click on it and say, no, because I already disabled it, that's why you're seeing enabled. That's so what you're supposed to see here is disabled. So you just click on it, right? So you just right click and you choose disable in your case, not enable. Um, you've seen enable here, like I said, because I have already um, disabled it on my own. So hopefully this video has helped you to understand more how you can reduce 
or minimize your windows 10 data consumption how to reduce windows 10 data consumption so um, we'll be adding up to this because this is something actually very serious for most of the persons that are using uh, the windows 10 system the data consumption problem so i encourage you to like the video give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel so that when we bring up our new update you're gonna be among the very first persons that will receive it so have yourself a very nice day this is tom from power Shine solutions saying bye